Hey, hi, welcome back to VRA Knowledge Center. In this section, we'll talk about Microsoft Identity Platform. So how uh, Microsoft Identity Platform helps we uh, have to build applications and uh, users and customers. And so that users can sign on to the uh, application using their Microsoft identities or any social accounts so that it provide authorized access to your no kind of APIs or uh, Microsoft APIs like Microsoft Graph. So uh, Microsoft Identity Platform is a platform where you can create users and register your applications and provide access to the Microsoft users uh, and that customers or users can log into your applications using Microsoft Identity and it is going to validate authenticate and then it logs to your application let me quickly open my uh, portal here and see like uh, what is happening so if you look at here um, if i go to the azure active directory and i can see my directory here which it was default directory 33 and i can going back to here app registrations so where uh, you will register your applications here and right now i have one application has been registered and it is having application ID here. And similar way, I think you register here using a new registration where you can register your application here. And once you register an application, it will generate you a client ID as like you are seeing here. And then you will uh, create your secret uh, securities. And using that, you will uh, uh, configure your application so that application will log in through that. So if you look at here endpoints, so there are a couple of endpoints having it in uh, uh, pre-registration. So uh, OAuth 2.0 authorization endpoint version two and OAuth 2.0 token endpoint version two and OAuth 2.0 authorization endpoint v1 and again token endpoint v1 open ID and Microsoft Graph API and Federation metadata document and WS Federation sign on and SAML and SAML P sign out, right? So if you look at OAuth 2.0 authorization endpoint version one, I think almost this was rolled out. I think uh, when you're registering up into this uh, Microsoft Identity platform, I think uh, version two was the absolute one and we have to use, use this version two endpoint to uh, get the token validation. So there are several components that make up the Microsoft Identity platform. So these are the list of the stuff here. So OAuth 2.0 and OpenID Connect standards compliant authentication service enabling developers to authenticate several identity types. So maybe a worker school accounts provisioned through Azure AD or personal Microsoft accounts like Skype or Outlook.com or social or local accounts by using Azure AD um, kind of stuff. So uh, in the same way, I think uh, you will have application management portal, uh, a registration and configuration experience in Azure portal along with the uh, other Azure management capabilities. And before getting to this, I just wanted to explain the flow of Microsoft Identity here. If you look at this diagram here, and even you can also visit this uh, HTTP uh, aka.ms.identity platform, and it, it has uh, no kind of flow here, like uh, what type of app you are building here, single piece or web app or web API or background process and automation, D1 process and mobile app or desktop console app. So all, all these kind of applications you can register on the Microsoft Identity platform, which is basically involves uh, these steps. If you look at this web app here, so we have to register app here and uh, you can uh, uh, get into uh, this Azure portal and register app. And then it will uh, validate ID token when you start an uh, no running of a app. And then you need to configure secrets and certificates. And then you need to, uh, I give a permissions to call AP of choice and control to uh, access the map that is authorization. And then it stores token cache. And then it goes to uh, other steps like, you know, basics and ownership, branding, privacy and security implementation and user experience testing and then launch app in production. So even you can check the platform checklist here in the uh, aka.ms.identity platform checklist as well. So these are different scenarios. So we'd like to build here. Each of these scenarios path starts with an overview and uh, links to a quick start samples as well to help you to get up and running. 
So as you work with Microsoft by default from uh, to integrate authentication and authorization in your apps, so you can refer to this image and you know outlines the most common apps and scenarios and their identity components. So based on the app type, so you can select that particular app here, either a single page or a map or a BP, something like that. And you do start registering your app. Okay, so going back to our portal here, and as I mentioned, so we need to uh, uh, register app here, and then you will get the secret ID and client ID, and using that, so we'll be going to configure application and mother identity fraud form. So I hope you understand the purpose of Microsoft Identity Fraud Form. So it is purely helps to build applications uh, for your users and customers can sign into uh, this application using their Microsoft identities or social accounts and provide authorized access to your own APIs or Microsoft APIs like Microsoft Cloud. Hope you understand Microsoft Identity Fraud Form focus here. Let me stop this video here and start a new video to create an uh, our register app on Microsoft Azure portal and then integrate into your applications. So thanks for listening to this video. Please subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you.